In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can uh, resize multiple images for use, say, on a web page or in a publisher document or a Word document where the original size that come, came from your camera is just too big. Uh, say, like in these five images here, each one of them is almost six megabytes, which is pretty large for use on the web or for using in small print. Uh, basically, the program we'll be using is called Earthen View. And basically, once you, uh, I'll provide a download link uh, in the description of the video so you can uh, download the free program. But once it's installed, you just double click on one of the images in the folder where you want to uh, resize the images. And if you come up to File, there is a uh, entry here called Batch Conversion Rename. So you click on that. And then it gives you various different options here. The default folder that it chooses for the uh, source images is whatever you open the image in. So if you open up one of the images in the uh, folder that you want to be converting, it'll show up here as your source. Uh, for this, you want to choose Batch Conversion, Renaming Result Files, so then it will uh, keep the original files with the same name, with their original name, and then just uh, change the name for the uh, smaller files. Then you want to come into, you probably want to leave it as JPEG, but go into Options, and you probably want to say, set the quality to around 60%. That gives a good uh, compromise between quality and file size. And you're also going to click here and click use advanced options for bulk resize. Click advanced. And it gives you multiple options here you could change. I think the most, the simplest uh, way to do it is just click on resize and then change it to a percentage, maybe 50%. Seems to work pretty well. And then down here you also want to use click on use current look in directory because then that keep, puts the renamed and resized images in the same directory as the originals. And also here you have the name pattern. If you click on options, uh, if you want to keep the original name and then just add, say, uh, several numbers at the end to differentiate between the originals, you put a, a uh, percent uh, dollar sign and then a capital N, and that'll keep the original name, and then you put a number of uh, pound signs or number signs after it for how many digits you want it to be. So here I put four digits. So each one will have a four digit number and it'll start with one and increment each time by one. And basically when you're ready, click add all on the right side here and it adds all the files in that folder, all the pictures. And then you just click on start batch. And that goes through and converts all the files. And then when you're done, you click exit and close. And then here you see we have five new files with the original file name and then with a four digit number appended to the end and they're and they're about uh, about one twentieth the size of the original and I'll open up a pair of these here so you can see what actual differences between the smaller file size and the, uh, the original And when we compare them here side by side, you'll notice that there's very little difference. On the left is the original, on the right is the resized. And quality-wise, it's very similar. And again, for using on web pages or in small print, uh, say in a family newsletter or something like that for the holidays, uh, this will work fine. So hopefully you found this uh, tip useful. If you did, please click like below. Consider subscribing to my channel. And also consider sharing this, say, on Google+, Facebook, or Twitter. Thank you.